Well, Cheryl, we just learned that the FBI received anonymous tips about the alleged shooter last year, and he was questioned about threats to commit a school shooting. But tonight, there's still not a clear motive for this tragedy. Tonight, the community of Winder, Georgia, mourning the loss of two students and two teachers killed in a school shooting at Appalachia High School. This community is hurting today. The terrifying scenes that played out Wednesday morning, all too familiar. Students pouring out of a school after a 14-year-old fellow student allegedly opened fire. Sophomore Alexandra Romero shooting this video as officers led students to safety from inside a darkened classroom. It was a small little ball of us, like all holding each other. And I remember like my friends crying. Um, they were all scared and then two police officers came in with their guns um, telling us not to move, that it's still not safe. The four people killed were identified by authorities as Richard Aspinwall and Christina Irami, both teachers, and 14-year-old students Mason Shermerhorn and Christian Angelo. When someone preys on kids, it's tragic. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation saying the shooter used an AR style platform weapon, but there are still questions about how he got the gun to the school and where it came from. Investigators say in 2023, the FBI got tips about the suspect threatening to commit a school shooting, and he was questioned by law enforcement. The Jackson County Sheriff's Office identified and located Gray, who is our suspect in this case. They conducted an investigation at that time, and there was no probable cause for arrest. Tonight, authorities say the nine people hospitalized after this shooting are all expected to be okay. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.